Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a quick video uh, showing the battery balancing. So what we have here is, as you can see, we're at 12.93 volts. I have, we'll start at the beginning. We have 20 lead acid batteries, as you see, all in a row. Finishing off with four AGM 200 amp hour batteries. You can mix lead acid and AGMs together because they have the same pretty much priorities as far as charging. Um, so you can actually mix those. Obviously the ideal situation is to keep every single battery exactly the same, but that's in a perfect world with a perfect bank account. We all don't have that, so sometimes you have to mix batteries. They're all for the same brand and all 20 of these are the same brand. So we have 24 in total. To balance the batteries, you go ahead and start at your first one and you got to join all your positives together all the way down the line so every single positive is joined and then you go to your negative join every single negative all the way up you'll notice some of these leads are a little longer than others um, sometimes you know you got to grab whatever leads you have when you end up getting this many batteries to balance um, to make up specific leads just for this can get expensive um, but it still did the job. These batteries started off, they were pretty close um, yesterday. I think some of them were maybe 12.5. Uh, some of them were 12.7, and some of these started out at like 12.9. Um, so they were close, but they need to be balanced. What we did was to our battery bank is we had 16 lead acids, um, and then we had the four AGMs. We just added four more lead acids to our mix. So whenever you add new batteries, you have to balance the system. If not, the system will start drawing off the weakest battery, and that's where your charge points are always going to be is off that weak battery. You want all the batteries to be the same, all equal. So I wasn't going to go ahead and hit, a, hit these with a charger last night, but I did. So even though you have 24 batteries lined up um, in this setup right here, even though it's 24, it's still 12 volt. That's all it is because these aren't positive to negative. These are positive to positive. I set the charger up. I use a vector. Um, it's a 15 amp battery charger. And I started off with the battery charger on here for about an hour. Then I'll put the battery charger in the middle for about an hour. Then I did the very last AGM for about an hour. Got them all pretty much you know, close to the voltage, but they were all still varying. And then I let them sit for, uh, I guess about 15 hours now, just literally um, merging their power into each other. So now the power is, as you saw, 12.93. So we're gonna go ahead and start at the very beginning of the AGM, and I'm gonna show the voltmeter all the way up to show how every single battery is now equal. So give me a second and be right back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the Klein Tools CL390. Um, so far, this has been an excellent little tool. I haven't used it for everything yet. But when you first start off, you see it'll be on AC. Press select. That gives you DC. It's on automatic, so it's going to automatically going to test what you're testing. So let's go ahead and follow these batteries. 12.93. 12.93. Twelve point nine three. Now I'm not going to say this all the way down the line. You'll get the picture now. It's always fun doing this because your leads end up catching all the posts. And obviously you see that one's 12.93. Now it is important to go ahead and do this check on each battery. Because you want to make sure you don't have a weak link in here somewhere. Because if you end up reading one of these and one of them's reading 12.73, well then you got a battery to re replace. These are the new batteries.
as you see it'll teeter 12.93 12.92 and that's because depending on how you um touch those contacts is going to show as you know as far as 12.92 12.93 but it's really close to the point where it's not nothing to worry about so that's pretty much it for the batter balancing um as you see again positive 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 all the way up the line and then again negative you want to make sure that each battery is linking to each battery all the way down and again doesn't really matter the lead size as you see about 15 hours worth of balancing every single battery is perfect so that's it as far as the battery balancing i hope this helps um, anybody's questions it's always also a good thing why you have the batteries in this configuration you can check all the water levels make sure they're all correct obviously agms they're maintenance free don't have to worry about it these batteries are brand new they still have the stickers but i'm probably going to peel those just double check make sure the water levels are good and that's it so the next video is just going to be reinstalling all the batteries and i'm going to change the bus bars up from our last configuration and uh, see the difference on the draining so please like subscribe and share and again thanks for watching